Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera, salam satu Malaysia dan salam arkib intipati kepada masa. Thank you Miss uh, Misako. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, actually it's a great honor for me on behalf of the Sabika uh, to talk to you regarding the preservation and access to the documentary heritage. As we all know that the Southeast Asia is rich with tradition, cultures, and history. And uh, as we know that uh, since the, after the World War II, uh, the, the, the name of the Southeast Asia was uh, very, popular and uh, most of the uh, countries um, be able to, uh, to provide a lot of documentary heritage. And uh, we can see that uh, the ASEAN was uh, established in 1967 and not long after that, the Sabika was established in 1968. Um, actually, Sabika, or in a long name, it was known as it is known as Southeast Asia Regional Branch of the International Council on Archives, um, was formed. The initiative of forming the um, Sabika started in 1964 when uh, the ICA or the International Council on Archives uh, having their gender conference in Brussels, whereby at, the, at, at that conference, the uh, Malaysian National Archive proposed a regional cooperation. And uh, the conference resolved that uh, they would explore the possibilities of establishing a regional branch of ICA outside Europe. And uh, the, the, the conference also uh, resolved that ICA members uh, to participate effectively in activities of the parent body. Once the regional uh, branch was established, so they would also participate as, uh, as part of the International Council of Archives. And uh, they were allowed to have their own program to suit uh, their uh, environment. So in that sense that uh, on July 1968, in the, at the inaugural conference held in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Sabika was formed. And it was the first regional branch of the International Council on Archives. And we would like to express our gratitude to our future, uh, to, 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 to our leaders at that time, who were the pioneers in establishing this, uh, this branch. Um, I would like to mention a few names here who were involved uh, in the establishment of the uh, branch. From Malaysia, it was uh, Dr. F.R.J. Verhoeven, uh, Dato Alwi Jantan, as well as uh, Dato Zakia Hanum. From Indonesia, Dr. Rounders R. Moh Ali. From the Philippines, Dr. Domingo Abela. From Singapore, Mrs. Hedwig Anwar. And from Thailand, Mrs. Sachat Bauchat. And uh, through their effort, the undertaking of making Sabika a reality was be able to, to be uh, established. And uh, as we see that uh, uh, 
uh, by next year, we will be celebrating our 50th uh, uh, birthday of the establishment of Sabika. So since uh, from the beginning, um, when we established Sabika, UNESCO has responded favorably to the establishment. And they have been given full support by offering financial grant to help us in launching the proposed organization. As well as they also support the idea and initiative to develop cooperation in the field of archives within the Southeast Asia, which uh, uh, originated from uh, the idea from Malaysia. And um, Mr. Gerardo Flores, at that time was UNESCO Chief of Mission to Malaysia. He's the one who addressed the inaugural conference of Sabika in Kuala Lumpur on 9th of July, 1968, on behalf of the Director General of UNESCO. So what is Sabika? Sabika was established to maintain and strengthen the relations between archivists of all countries in the region and between all institutions, professional bodies, and organizations which are concerned with the custody, organization, or administration of archives. It also established to promote all measures for preservation, protection, and defense against all manner of hazards of the archival heritage of the region and to further the progress of all aspects of administration and preservation of these archives. Sabika also was established to facilitate the use of archives of the region by making them more widely known and by encouraging greater ease of access to promote, organize, and coordinate activities in the field of archives in the region, to cooperate with other organizations or institutions concerned with documentation of human experience and the use of that documentation for the benefit of mankind, and lastly, to generally carry out the aims and objectives of the International Council on Archives. So since then, Sabika have uh, designed programs and plan as follows. That is, we do have conference, seminar, workshop, or training programs, which were held respectively within the Sabika member countries. And this uh, conference seminar, we would carry variety of themes and subject matter. We also have collaboration between archives to learn and gain knowledge from each other, either locally or outside of Sabika. We also embrace new technology by sharing experiences and exchange of ideas in acquiring new knowledge and method and also plan documentation program to benefit all member countries, such as the oral history project on the ASEAN statesmen. We also promote heritage of ASEAN through archives by nominating the essential and prestigious archives into UNESCO Memory of the World. And we also collaborate in preservation and conservation through the expert exchange of archivists from the, within the member countries. I would like to share with you some of the uh, material that we have um, listed in the UNESCO Memory of the World Register. For example, we have uh, 
Tuosiong Genocide Museum Archive from Cambodia, which was uh, registered in 2009. The archives of the Dash East India Company from Indonesia, 2003. Uh, we also have, as mentioned earlier, from Malaysia, the Batu Besurat or Inscripted Stone of Trenggano, 2009. And I think one of the, the earliest uh, uh, documentary heritage that we, ever, we were able to register uh, was from Malaysia, that is the correspondent of the late Sultan of Kedah, 1882 to 1943, Hikayat Hang Tua and uh, Sejarah Melayu. We also have uh, materials from uh, Myanmar, uh, such as the golden letter of the Bumis King Alopaya to King George of Great Britain, 2015, from the Philippines, presidential papers of Manuel L. Cuzon, 2011, from Thailand, archival documents of King Chulalongkorn, Transformation of Siam, 1868 to 1910. From Vietnam, uh, stone steel records of royal examination of the Le and Mark dynasty, 1442 to 1779. From Laos, New Lohak Zan Film Collection, 2014. And from Singapore, we have uh, ASEAN Film Archives, Collection Categories, Malay Classics, 1950 and 1960, and so on. We also have uh, from uh, Vietnam again and uh, from Thailand. So, um, in the future, Sabika would set uh, policy, strategy, and standard or guideline in, uh, in developing of integrated preservation and digitization strategy, standard or access uh, guideline to be used in Sabika member countries, strategy, standard, and guideline which are relevant to international policy and procedures. And uh, we also would plan a specific, uh, a specific archival project between member countries. We will also continue with our training and advocacy on uh, uh, preservation of archival material, including the digital as well as the audiovisual archives. Uh, we will conduct a practical workshop uh, among Sabika member countries. Uh, we will exchange of uh, expert and archivists. And uh, we would uh, build partnership with other expert group or organization uh, to uh, in, 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 in carrying out this project, uh, members, uh, uh, organizations such as the CIPAVA, ICROM, UNESCO, as well IASA, RMNT, and, uh, and others. Yeah. So um, in this uh, presentation, I would, all, I would also like to share with you um, one of the uh, award that uh, we have received, uh, one of the prestigious award uh, from the UNESCO GG Memory of the World uh, Award. So, Malaysia was the uh, third country to win this uh, award, which was in nine, uh, 2009, in a recognition to the Irish educational and training program uh, in the area of preservation within the ASEAN region. 
uh, in recognition to the active participation in international activities supporting preservation as well as becoming the key institution in matters relating to preservation and access of documentary heritage and establishing national archives as a, as a national resource for the rescue of document uh, damaged by uh, disaster, either by flood or fire. So this is uh, the ceremony that uh, when we received the award in, in Chengju City, Republic of Korea. Uh, this is the award which we displayed at our concourse. And uh, we used the prize money. We were given uh, uh, 30,000 US dollar. And we, were, we, purchased, we used the money to purchase of its scanners. And uh, we carried out a project in scanning around uh, 869 files from analog to uh, digital format. So that is the machine. And uh, lastly, uh, I would like to uh, share with you as well with the digitization project that the National Archives has uh, carried out. Uh, according to the acts, uh, I would not uh, uh, elaborate this. Um, so we have uh, under, our, under Section 36 of the Archives Act, uh, in terms of processing and uh, preservation of public archives. So this is the detail of it. Okay, uh, why we carry out the digitization project uh, is partly uh, for preservation purposes to minimize the risk of damage so that uh, less handling of uh, original document or archival material and to ensure the longevity of the archival material. As you know, previously, when people do research and they use the archival material, they have to come to the archives and see the actual document. So through this uh, uh, project, we were able to make it available not only for those people at the archives, but as uh, mentioned earlier by uh, Dr. Rashidi, it can be reached either all throughout the country here as well as uh, outside uh, uh, Malaysia. So uh, the system that we use uh, uh, to um, uh, digitize uh, our material, uh, we use uh, the media asset management system, uh, we use archival management system, as well as computerized archival system and services of COMPASS. So this is the standard that we use in carrying out our digitization uh, uh, project. Uh, and we will provide access through our system uh, uh, by computerized archival system and uh, services, uh, as well as online finding aid. And uh, we have uh, one portal, they call it uh, My Creative Content Project. Uh, we did this with the Ministry of uh, Communication. And uh, until today, we already digitized uh, around uh, 7 million pages of document, uh, 1 million pages of uh, microfilm, and uh, around 8 million uh, pages of document on uh, uh, audiovisual material. So this is the project, my creative content uh, project that we carried out in 2012 to 2015. And uh, in conclusion, we hope that uh, 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 all of us be able to take the opportunity to, 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 to share and learn uh, from our expert on preservation and access of documentary heritage. And I would like to say that uh, the Sabika uh, would always like uh, to have uh, continuous cooperation with UNESCO uh, as well as the ASEAN, whereby we need your support to have uh, more programs and activities 
uh, in carrying out the preservation of uh, documentary heritage uh, within this region. With that, I would say uh, thank you very much for your time.